Importing and exporting ARXML files has never been easier in the new version of DaVinci Developer Adaptive 2.14. Stick around and see what's new. Hi there, my name is Oskar Aronsson and I'm the product manager for DaVinci Developer Adaptive. And I'm here to show you some highlights of our newest version 2.14. To increase overall readability of the software cluster overview, when zooming out, it now enlarges text while reducing the amount of details. If you have ports connected to another software cluster, they are now shown as external nodes on the border of the software cluster itself. Furthermore, you can now easily identify a some IP connection by its filled line or an IPC connection by its dashed line. In the toolbar, you can now find some convenient features, such as a quick filter to easily reduce the displayed content by type, a fit to screen button, and an image exporter, which can be useful for creating presentation materials for your adaptive application. In the instance node of the service editor, we've added a table containing the event groups. To configure these, simply double click and fill out the form in the resulting dialog. We have also made some improvements in the handling of ARXML files and projects for DaVinci Developer Adaptive. The project import dialog can now automatically include reference projects if you activate this checkbox. This feature will search for projects either in the same file directory or, if not found, a location of your choice. On the output side, the project exporter is now capable of taking a model distributed throughout several dependent projects and export it into a single ARXML file. You can consult the project's overview to see what projects will be included in this export. In addition to the open folder feature added in the last version, you can now open individual ARXML files with Developer Adaptive directly through your Linux context menu. This can be easily activated in the help menu or the preference dialog, where you'll also find some additional configurations. These were some of the highlights for the DaVinci Developer Adaptive 2.14 version. I hope you'll find them useful. Thank you for watching. Remember to follow our channel here on YouTube for more news and highlights. And don't forget to visit our product page linked in the description where you can now download a slide set of some tips and tricks for developer adaptive.